Okay guys, we've been seeing a lot of videos recently of people doing what's in my bag, so we thought we'd do a what's in my bag medicine edition. That way you guys get an inside look at what kind of things I need uh, to have on me when I work in the clinic or in the hospital. So to start out with, this is my bag. Um, it's pretty big as you can see, which is great because it holds all my stuff. Um, this particular bag is by Ralph Lauren and the reason I like it so much is A, like I said, it's big, carries all my things, and two, it's actually wipe clean, which when you're working in the hospital or in the clinic, um, surrounded by lots of lovely germs, it's nice to be able to come home and give your bag a good wipe down. Some other things I like about this bag is it fits my laptop. I don't often take my laptop to work, but when I do, it's nice to be able to have a bag that I can easily fit it into. I have a 13 inch MacBook, so this is perfect for that. I haven't tried putting a 15 inch in, but I think it would probably fit. It also has lots of compartments, so I can keep things nice and organized. I can put all my valuables right in the middle with this um, magnet closing little pouch, and then I can put other things on the, on the either side of that magnet pouch. So that makes it a really well organized bag too. So now for what's in my bag. Thing number one, my cell phone. I never go anywhere without this thing. Whether I'm working on the wards or in clinic, this is the single most important tool that I take with me to work. Some people like taking clipboards or notes or books, but realistically, I find as long as I have my cell phone and an internet connection, I can look up any dose, anything that I could possibly think of, um, and I have it right at my fingertips without having to carry around anything bulky. So cell phone, definitely number one tool that I use. Let's see what else is in here. So my stethoscope. This one is a Litman Cardio 2 um, in all black, which I kind of like because I think it looks classy and goes with all my outfits. Um, and yeah, obviously a super important tool to use on a daily basis. Got some hand sanitizer. There's always hand sanitizers around the hospital and usually in clinic too, but it's nice to have your own little handy bottle of hand sanitizer in case you want to stop for a snack or something and need to wash your hands. Hand washing is actually one of the biggest infection control um, measures that has saved like millions of lives. It's kind of cool to think about. And I've got my prescription pad here. So this is obviously super handy because we often have to prescribe medications when treating patients. So um, it's really important to have this on me at all times. Oh yes, my least favorite object in my purse, my pager. So. You kind of develop a love-hate relationship with your pager in that, I mean, every time it goes off, you hate it, but if you lose it, then you panic and you have to look for it everywhere. So it's a bit of a strange relationship, but um, yes, the pager that keeps you up at night. My hospital ID badge, that's obviously really important. Um, a lot of places in the hospital are restricted access and you can't get in unless you have your badge to beep you in. So if you forget one of these, if you're on call or if you're working at the hospital, it can be quite a long day, obviously, always of having to ask people to let you into places and open doors for you. My combination lock. So this might seem like kind of a random thing, but often in the hospitals or in clinic, you have to leave your, leave your bag or leave your valuables. So it's nice to always have a lock because um, not all the areas are secure. I like my being purple because then I can spot it from a mile away. Cell phone charger. So like I said, cell phone, most important tool that I carry with me all day. If it died, that would not be good. So my cell phone charger obviously ends up being really important. I actually also have a portable charger. I don't have it in here right now, but that's super handy when you're at working because then you don't actually even have to be by an outlet. You just plug your phone in and you get it recharged. I've got my one liter water bottle. This is crucial. I find often when you're at work, you forget to drink water unless you have it on you at all times. So I never go anywhere without this thing. I get parched if I do. On the same line, always take a granola bar with you. You never know how long it's gonna be until your next meal. And if your blood sugars are tanking, it's nice to be able to munch on something. Measuring tape. Don't exactly know why that's there, but if you're seeing Pete's patients, Taking their length and their head circumference is super important because growth is one of the most important things um, to assess in pediatric patients. So there you go. Of course, my wallet. This particular wallet is by Fossil. I quite like it. I like the polka dots. I usually um, get really plain brown wallets, but I decided to branch out this time and do something a little bit more fun and spunky. So that's my polka dot wallet. Obviously important because wallets. I mean, what else do I have in here? A pen. This particular pen actually Rob bought me when I became a staff physician. It's a nice fountain pen and I use it 
um, to sign prescriptions and it makes me feel kind of fancy. So that's my fountain pen. There's not a lot of utility in bringing a pencil to work because when you write in a chart um, or sign a prescription or write a prescription, you always have to write in ink for legal reasons. So um, pencils don't have a lot of um, use in the hospital or in clinic. Last but not least, looks like I am still carrying around this little drawing that a patient made for me. It says, fun. So I hope she had fun with her appointment.